All right, what's up guys? Back here again. Here we have the 2017 Ice Bear Mad Dog, or as the title will say, a PMZ 150. Um, it's just a quick little walk around of it. Uh, I'll do a startup for you guys. Uh, I'll put a later video later on for actual, like, you know, in-depth, you know, details of, you know, what it all has, you know, how it feels and stuff like that. This is just a quick little walk around for it for now. Got the LED headlights, disc fronts, drum back. Um, with the generation four models of these, uh, they went with the long seat, single shock in the bit in the back. You still have that ob obnoxious huge intake canister um they did slim down the back tire i'm guessing because the fat wider like flat tire um it did make it a little bit more difficult to steer them but you know it's it's cool you got the whole single shock so it shows the whole rim on one side you got this big exhaust coming out the top they got the cooling shroud it's pretty cool and then they did away with the crossbars across the gas tank. So now it's an all open gas tank. You know, you got key unlock gas lid. And you also doesn't really do much, but the seat lifts up. I mean, it has a giant plate. Underneath these two screws is the um, fuel pump. A lot of people are up upgrading them to the Makuni styles, which I'll probably end up doing later on. But, um... Yeah, I'll just go ahead, start it up, let you guys listen to the uh, startup of it. Show you the gauge. I thought this was pretty cool. Turn the key. There you go. And then we'll start it up. Yeah, overall, I mean, so that was just a quick startup of it, you know, a quick little walk around of it, um, showing you guys, you know, the whole Ice Bear Mad Dog. Now, this is the 150 version. They make a 50 um, variant of it, too. Um, obviously, the 50 would have a more or less engine mount down on this end versus having the engine mount up here. Because the 150s are top mount and the 50 cc's are bottoms, um, it does have the pair system on it or whatever you want to call that. But yeah, overall, I mean, it's pretty normal stuff. You got normal carburetor, probably a 24 millimeter uh, 150 carb, probably like a 105 main jet, probably like a 38 or 40 slow jet. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys. That way, if you guys were thinking about getting one, this is what it looks like. This would be the 150 version, the 49cc or 50cc version of it. Um, 
Obviously, it's going to have a different setup. Probably will run the same exhaust, though, because it has the exhaust hanger actually right here. So, just giving you guys a quick little walkthrough of it, seeing what it is. Um, I'll be posting more videos later on about this one. I'm also, I have another one that I'm actually stretching and dropping. I already did all that stuff. Um, Got to get that stuff tuned in. Got running all sorts of fun stuff on that. That's a 171. I want to end up doing stuff to this, too, but I want to actually you know drive it break it in so on so forth and see what i want to replace on it the main thing is probably as of right now anyways the first one of the first things i wouldn't mind doing is switching out the lights for an led bar which the led bar would actually end up mounting here so all this would come off and then it would replace this fake chrome but yep and that's about it, you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead, leave me some comments. I'll go ahead and try to answer them if I can. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave it a like. Um, if you want to see more on this or the other stretched one I'm making, that's just a normal Chinese. It's a Tao Tao BWS 50. I'm switching over to a 171. Um, if you want to see more on that, go ahead and subscri subscribe as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video was a little helpful to show you guys, you know, like a little, a quick tutorial of what it looks like. Uh, yes, I mean, it is pretty long. I've driven it a couple times now, and it does get up and go, but I haven't actually verified speed on it yet. So before I start throwing numbers out there, I want to make sure they're accurate before I actually give you numbers for it. All right. Well, I'm ending the video here, guys. Until next time.